this is what the hair looks like when it's dried so you can really see the highlights the contrast a lot more when it is dried So I'm putting my wig into sections right now. I have a top section, two on the side by the frontal area, and then I'm going to have two in the back. So getting a piece about this wide, you want to go ahead and brush the hair through. Make sure you don't have any tangles or anything like that. And grab a one inch curling iron. So I'm using a one inch barrel iron. And I have it on the highest setting. The first pass is to smooth and straighten the hair. And then the second time around, I'm going to drag, drag is a bad word. <laughs> I'm gonna slide the barrel iron all the way down to the ends and then start winding it up. So once you do that and hold it on there for about 10, 15 seconds, and then let it go, it's gonna be a really loose, big curl. And how you get it to be, um, bigger and more full and keep the volume for a really long time is pin curl it so i don't really have like the, the technical tools that you're supposed to use for pin curls i just use these clips i feel like it works fine and the cool thing about these big clips is that when you do two of them side by side they're long enough so that you can actually roll it up and use the same clip for two guys that is it it's super super simple this technique this pin curling thing is so simple it gives you that nice vintage volume when you're all done and yeah I'm just gonna continue to do this across the entire wig So I let the pin curl sit for a couple of days. It was initially just going to be one day, but I ended up getting busy on the second day, so I didn't do it. But I'm um, taking this out on day two. You can really leave this up for as long as you would like. The longer you leave it up, the longer the curls, the bounce, the wave will stay. And these are really large curls because I just want a lot of volume, not a lot of wave. If you use a smaller iron, of course, your curls would be a lot tighter.
But yeah, this is how it looks when I take all of the pins, clips, whatever out. And I absolutely love how it turned out. It's super, super bouncy and fluffy and I just love it. And with the highlights, it really is kind of a vintage vibe, which is so cute. The wig is not glued to my head in any way, so I can't really play with it too, 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 too much when I'm...